Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Warwick and you're watching Gas Tax Garage. Today, we have some upgrades to my race trailer. So let's jump right into it. If you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. If you're a long time subscriber, always good to have you back. So behind me, we have my 2021 Illumina 8218 XL. This is my second car trailer and I absolutely love this. I had an r and Beaver Tail one before. It was a 16 foot trailer. That was a bit too small, a bit too high, and it had no storage. One thing I really love about this trailer, it is super low to the ground. It has that lockable storage in the front, which is also a windbreak. But there are only these standard tie downs on the trailer and there's six of those if you can see so i bought this trailer new my last trailer i bought used and my last trailer had these things called easy tracks these easy tracks uh, you can buy a whole bunch of different accessories they help tie down your car better so you can tie around the tire instead of trying to tie to the axle or or a lower control bar or whatever so i actually like these more what i'm going to do is i'm going to be installing these tracks onto my trailer now in order to do that you have to drill or at least i'm going to be drilling over 80 holes into my trailer this is a ten thousand dollar trailer that's not fun but i think this adds to the value of the trailer or definitely the usability of it for me so let's look at where i'm going to be mounting these and what i'm going to be using them for just a reminder only half a month left to enter in to win a six thousand four hundred dollar sonic toolbox all you got to do is comment on each of my videos from august to October and that is one entry per comment. Now to gain extreme entries, head over to gastax.com, look at the merch that we offer and every dollar you spend gets you three entries to this giveaway. So I have everything roughly laid out. I have a track in the front here, two on either side and then again, I mean one on either side and then one on the rear. So the rear and the front, I'm not gonna use typically but I do have another race car which is a ice race car. And I have these tires right here. Let me just show you. So those are super spiked tires. Those are one inch uh, spikes for a snowmobile. Now you can't keep those tires on, especially you can't put your car on the trailer with those tires on. It will rip up my trailer. So you always have to take two sets of tires. So my ice racing car is a 2004 R32 VW. And that is much shorter than my Corvette, I believe. And I will have space on the back or the front, depending on how I want to weight the trailer for the tires. So I will stack the tires there or there. Now, one thing I would recommend, if you guys are getting a trailer, get a 20 foot trailer. My Corvette right here, it takes up 90% of the 18 foot trailer. And I wish I would have got a 20, but it's also COVID times and you can't find much inventory. So this was the only one I could find, which is fine. I do have a pickup truck. I can throw things in the back of the pickup truck if I really need to. So all of these tracks will be through bolted with uh, looks like two and a half inch, three inch bolts. And I will be putting backing plates, three backing plates per track that will actually be holding the car. And then two backing plates that will be holding accessories. Let's jump underneath and see the challenge with just drilling holes. So if you look underneath, you'll see there's ribs everywhere. From here to here is one plank, if you will. And that is 24 centimeters. So I need to make sure when I drill holes, they are right here. So I will be measuring that out and uh, making sure my backing plate fits right here with the correct holes laid out. Also, I do not want to <laughs> drill too close to here this beam or too close to this beam as it will uh, defeat the purpose of having the bolts in the backing plate. So a lot of measuring, tedious measuring, not difficult, but uh, yeah, let me get to measuring and figuring out where the first holes go. So if you look here, there is a seam and there is a seam and it is 24 centimeters wide. The reason I'm using centimeters is because it doesn't really line up with nine and a half uh, inches. So here is the backing plate. And as you can see, the backing plate works which way? This way. 
So the backing plate sits like that. Now I took a picture below and we have a beam at looks like uh, seven and a half centimeters coming from one side and then 15 centimeters. Let's see if we can line that up. So starting the track right at the length, six centimeters for a hole 19 centimeters so right now it is six and the holes at 16 16 is exactly at a beam so that is not good so let's move forward to I was trying to get this plate from this side to this side but it actually doesn't look like that's possible let's go seven centimeters so there's seven centimeters and that is we go seven now we need anything after 17. oh that's close so let's go six, seven and a half centimeters and that ends up at 18 centimeters and that will work so as you can see that is not fun it is pretty challenging and that's going to happen three times per bar but once i get one of them done the other side will be pretty easy because the measurements will be the same then i'll have to do that again for the back one thing i did do is when the car was on the trailer I marked the center of the wheels. So this is the center of the front wheel. This is the center of the rear wheel. So obviously this needs to come back a bit more, but this is basically centered here and it should work for the R32 as well. So if the front tire only fits back here, that's fine as long as I have one clip and then I can strap around the wheel and uh, strap the car down. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mount well, I'm going to drill the holes and just loosely put the bolts in the front. That way, when I drill the other holes, I can precisely measure. I ideally want the first holes and the last holes down. That way, those never bend up. I don't think they will ever bend up, but that's what I'm hoping for. And then obviously the plate in the middle doesn't really make a difference. I'm going to move that back, that tracker back. so that starts right there and uh, fingers crossed that it all works out one thing I forgot to mention is the width so the Corvette is pretty wide uh, here's the center of the wheel and that's actually where the tire comes to so I've got a lot of room this way because these are uh, thick tires let me just measure how thick the tires are or how wide the tires are so the rear tires are about 13 and a half inches and the front tires are about 11 inches so the r32 is narrower than this car so let's just see where the front is 11 inches so 11 inches right there now i'm going to probably go the center of here and that way and that way when i strap down the corvette the straps in the center of the tire now the r32 will be narrower so it will be closer to uh, the outside of the tire which should be fine i don't necessarily want to put two rails next to each other that's what some people do but i'll cross that bridge when i put on the r32 here yeah let's get the first hole drill all righty with that in let's go look underneath all right right there and then the next one should be right here Alrighty, right there, and then the next one should be right there, so that is good. Let's drill the next hole. Alright, let's loosely fit these on here and see how it looks. Well guys, the bolts are too short, so it looks like I'm going to the hardware store and buying a shit ton of stainless bolts. 64 to be precise all right well guys that was a utter nightmare i went to one hardware store that had 16 of these uh bolts i need 64 went to another one they had 50 so i had to go back to the first one and buy the 16. anyways i got them now uh the first bolts were two inches now i got uh two and a half inches so i am going to get this going <laughs> i'll check in with you in a bit all righty guys moment of truth i have all these drilled it's pretty easy once you figure out the first hole so this shouldn't take too long. Let's check underneath. Good, good, good. Perfect. Wonderful. I will do the plates last. Let's get drilling on all of them, drop in the bolts, and then get the backings done. Let me show you what I did on the back here. 
So there's a beam right here. So I had to do these ones at an angle, uh, otherwise I wouldn't be able to do them. So there's two on the outside, four on the inside, two on the outside. These are only for tires, so that should be good. The ones that hold the car down have four, eight, 12 bolts in them each um, and a huge backing plate. So that should be good. Now I'm going to get under there, loosely fit the backing plates to all of these. And then I'm going to get somebody to impact them from the top while I'm underneath holding the nut. there we have it I've hand tightened all of the nuts on the back now Ilya is coming here from Extelgic and he's picking up his drone we switched drones by mistake so he needs that so when he gets here I'm gonna get him to use the impact while I'm under the trailer so we can just get all 64 of these nuts tightened down all right guys well trailer is done Ilya just helped me he has to run but this is like why I like this track system so this is wheel chalk if you will and there you go so like that just clips in right there so you know when to stop I don't know if this will necessarily work with the Corvette it may be uh, too low but there are different accessories you can plug in here. In the next couple of videos or so, I will show you how I strap down the trailer when I go to track on Thursday. So then you'll see how this whole system works. But anyways, guys, thanks a lot for tuning in. I'll leave a link down below if you want to add these to your trailer. And be sure you like and subscribe because we are doing tool giveaways for the next 10 months or so. Over $18,000 of tools will be given away. Right now, we're giving away $6,400 of tools. All you got to do is leave a comment below and subscribe. Thanks a lot, guys. Until next time, I'll see you then.